Hey everyone, Chang here and welcome to my channel. This is the practice problem video series where we pick a problem that either highlights a math concept very well or one that you would normally see in a standardized test environment and then we break it down and solve it. Let's begin. So for today's video, we're going to go over this problem. Now this is actually kind of a fun problem to work with. Now here's the thing. Yes. Ignoring my drawing in a sense that it is not drawn to scale. You see all the ones in the textbooks and the standardized test where it says not drawn to scale. Yes, this is not drawn to scale. My drawing is not that great. Right, yes, here's 6, here's 14. 14 should be a lot longer, but hey, whatever. Uh, here we have AC. That's what we're looking for. This length right here, AC. Now, in order to find that, we have 6, 14, and this hypotenuse right here, 30. Our key to solving this problem is this little guy right here. This tells us this entire triangle is a right triangle. Now, with right triangle, we have something special. It's the Pythagorean theorem, right? That tells us that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Where remember that when we're talking about right triangle, right, any one of these, this could be a, this could be b, interchangeable, but the hypotenuse is always c, and when we plug it in, we, following this formula, we can figure out each and every one of those different lengths. All right, so I'm gonna just erase that again so that um, we have a little more room. All right, here we go. First and foremost, let's see what we got. We got 6, 14, and 30. Well, we can find this length right here, AB, because we know that, well, let's just call this uh, X so it's easier for us to work with X, All right? We know that X squared plus this guy right here. What is that? 6 plus 14 is 20. 20 squared, a squared, b squared equals 30 squared. Okay, so we have this right here. x squared plus 20 squared equals 30 squared. That lets us find x. Now, why do I want to find x? Because guess what? x and 6, this is still a right triangle, which is amazing. Right? So that means this squared plus this squared will equal this squared. So first and foremost, let's figure out what x is. Well, in this case, what do we have? Well, x squared plus and 20 times 20 is what? 400 equals 30 times 30 is 900. All right, cool. So this is what we have so far. All right, we're going to figure out by subtracting 400, subtract 400. And so we have x squared equals 500 okay now that just means x equals square root 500 but in all honesty this is not really necessary because since we don't really care about what x is we're just trying to find what ac is what we know i'm just going to move right here a c squared equals x squared which is 500 plus 6 squared, right? Which is, well, I'm just going to write 6 squared so you guys can see it. That's 500 plus 36. So 536, right? So that's AC, the length of AC squared, okay? We're trying to find AC. So what we're going to do is we're just going to square root both sides. So AC right here is just basically 500 and or square root of 536. And if it's in a standardized test and you have multiple choice, most likely they're gonna ask you to simplify this in one way, shape, or form. And if you have a calculator, you can do that. But here's the key. If they have it in like a square root format and you're not sure exactly which one is equivalent to this, plug this in a calculator, figure out what that number is in a decimal, then go through each and every one of those multiple choice and figure out what they are in a decimal. If they're most likely gonna be extremely, extremely close, if not exactly the same. In that case, you will know that is the correct answer. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. <laughs>